Hey guys, this is Harlan from the Render Q, and this is an update to my recent surgery. Um, I had a condition called hemifacial spasm, and I had it for about seven years. But on February 14th of 2019, I had a microvascular decompression surgery, or MVD surgery, and I woke up completely spasm-free. My face hasn't twitched at all since the, uh, the surgery, and it was a complete success. I'm really happy with the results, and it's like this huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. It's like my mind is no longer thinking about um, this constant twitching or or what uh, what I'm going to feel like when I walk into a store or when I go and talk to somebody. It's like uh, my mind is completely free now, and um, it's just a really good feeling not to um, have the uh, spasms or the twitching in my face. And it used to go on 24 hours a day, even when I'm sleeping. Um, a lot of times I'll wake up at night and I'll feel my face uh, twitching against my pillow. It kind of keeps me up at night and, uh, you know, it takes a long time to get back to sleep. But um, right now it's like completely gone, as you can see. Um, again, I mean, the feeling is just fantastic that I can walk around and not have this nervous feeling when I'm walking up towards somebody or going to the store or interacting with anyone these days. So I'm really happy I got the surgery, although it took me about seven years and I am really glad that it is over now and I am almost completely healed and I'm almost fully recovered. The day of the surgery was really interesting for me because I was not even nervous at all. I think it's because I was so ready to see the results that I was just really excited. It's like almost like a Christmas present. Like I just couldn't wait for Christmas to arrive. That's kind of how I felt. When they finally started wheeling me into the operating room, they were asking me if I needed any sedatives or something to calm my nerves. But I really didn't need any because like I said before, I was really excited to have the surgery. So I was just kind of trying to... Um, uh, experience all of this and just kind of like look around and just kind of see what um, this was all about. So I heard that my surgery started at around 1 or 1.30 p.m. and the next thing I remember was waking up about 7.30 p.m. and super groggy. I just was super tired after the surgery. I mean, I know people were talking to me. I think I was just like barely answering their questions. I remember at one point they said that they were taking me to have a CT scan. I mean, I barely remember that. So when I woke up the next morning, I felt much better. I uh, wasn't quite as tired. I really didn't feel any pain, which was interesting because I was kind of expecting all this dizziness and headaches and uh, pain from the incision, but I, I, it was really not that bad. Um, throughout the morning, they were still checking on me. And then eventually they had like a physical therapist come in and they were testing me to see if I had uh, any dizziness or balance issues. Um, they even had me walk around the hospital floor like a couple of times. And then one of the final tests was that they had me walk up and down a flight of stairs. And I, I did it actually pretty good. And so they were able to release me that afternoon. I was on a set of steroids for about one and a half weeks. And then at the two week point, I had my follow-up appointment where I had my stitches out. And for me, my recovery at home went really well, I think, because I didn't really have any headaches, um, maybe, uh, you know, headaches every once in a while here that uh, was controlled by Tylenol, but everything went very well while I was at home recovering. And as you can see in this video, I mean, I'm really happy that my smile is back. I mean, there's just, everything was even on my face as I'm smiling. You can see that there's no twitching compared to the before video, but this result is something that I'm really happy about. So at about 10 days, I noticed that all of a sudden my smile was not even anymore. So I had some weakness in my face. Um, my smile was really uh, uneven at that point. And I've heard that uh, a lot of people develop like a facial palsy starting at around the 10 day point. And so I'm hoping that this goes away relatively soon. I still have it right now. And the doctors tell me that it could last a few weeks to two or three months. So I'm hoping that the strength in my face comes back so I can get my even smile back. One of the things I didn't expect was to be so sleepy all the time. I was able to take naps almost any time of the day. Uh, I could be up for a little bit, but then I get really tired and I have to go take another nap. Another thing that I wasn't expecting was that food actually tasted disgusting to me. So what I noticed was that the right side of my tongue uh, on my uh, spasm side felt a little numb as I kind of touch it against my the roof of my mouth. Uh, and I think that's what was causing the food to taste so bad to me. I was able to eat just a little bit of food, but man, it really tasted disgusting to me and I really did not feel like eating. One of the things I learned is that the seventh cranial nerve is also responsible for taste. So it makes sense because that's where uh, Dr. Ferreira was working on to cure my hemifacial spasm. And the funny thing about the time when I didn't want to eat is that 
I actually wanted some sweet foods because um, those were the only things that didn't really make me sick or it's actually helped me get over that disgusting sick feeling. But at about the three week point, I was able to start eating almost anything that I wanted. If you're considering microvascular decompression surgery, I'd recommend talking to at least two surgeons if possible. Here in the Seattle area, there was two that I wanted to check out and I'm glad I interviewed both of them. I chose Dr. Manuel Ferreira at the University of Washington. He seemed very knowledgeable about MVD and he's also a skull-based surgeon, so I felt comfortable with his expertise and his skill. Dr. Ferreira says he tests hearing during the surgery, but also he's testing for different compressions so he can see along the entire side of my face whether there's any other compressions causing any twitching in my face while he's doing the decompression of the nerve. And in the end, he put in eight Teflon pads to buffer those blood vessels from the facial nerve and I've been spasm free ever since and I'm really happy at the way that he had conducted his surgery. At about two and a half weeks, I tried to drive for the first time since the surgery and that was kind of an interesting experience because when I got on the road, like all the cars seemed to be going really fast. I was having a hard time processing everything that was going around me. And then also the other thing was that uh, I know some people experience hearing loss, but I didn't really experience that. But I did notice that I have lost a bit of my low frequency hearing. I listen to a lot of music with bass and I've definitely noticed that I can't hear those low frequencies as much right now, but I think it will get better and I'm not too worried. Same with um, my facial weakness. I think that will go away over time as the nerve heals. So I hope this video gives you some insight as to what to expect during the MVD surgery and how the recovery goes afterwards. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'm happy to answer any of those that you have. So thanks for watching and hearing my experience with hemifacial spasm and the MVD surgery.